In this video, you will learn how to apply styles to a document. We have learned one method of applying styles and that was to apply the formatting on individual block of text. And this is a document where I have applied that method and I have changed the title by just changing the size of the font and making it bold. Similarly, I changed the subtitle by increasing the font a little bit less than the main title and by making it italicized. So in this way, I applied this formatting to individual block of text to all this document. And this is a way of applying formatting, but a better way of applying formatting is by using styles. And this is the purpose of this video. And you can use styles by clicking on this tab. This is the styles tab. And if I click on this uh, little rectangle, I can see all these styles available. The second way of accessing this style is in the format uh, menu. And in the format menu, you have this paragraph uh, styles and all these styles are also available in this area. But the quickest way to access is by using this tab. And this is what we will do in this video. Although there is no style applied to this document, if I click on this view menu and then I check this on show document outline if i click here so that i turn on on the left hand side you can see that it shows me the outline of the document so google is intelligent enough to understand that if i apply these headings and if i increase the font size or bold it so google will think that this is some sort of uh, headings so it means that although i have not applied any styles to this document but google is smart enough to understand that uh, if i am in increasing the font size if I am making this bold or italic it means that these are headings subheadings titles and subtitles even if I click on any of uh, these uh, headings for example if I click on technical requirements I straight away go to that particular area of the document so then what is the point of applying the styles if we can get the outline if we can go straight to that part so the main reason of applying styles is that if you need a table of contents and uh, if you are only only a person who is working on this document you might not need to apply any styles because you can access the document from this outline but if for example you are making this document for someone else to read or understand or something then it might be useful to have a table of contents at the beginning of the document because that person might not know that you can get an outline. So because not everybody knows all the features in Google Docs. So therefore a table of content is a standardized way of uh, making your documents. So you might need a table of contents. So therefore we apply styles. Now let's apply some styles to this document. So let's uncheck this uh, outline and now we will apply some styles and see how it works. So this is the title of my document. So these styles are some preset formats. So when I will select anything from this, it will apply a certain font size, a certain uh, bold or italics characteristic of a font uh, and a certain font. So these type of things will be automatically applied to my text block for which I select any of the styles. So let us see this is my title and I click here and I select title. So this is the size of the title by default in Google Docs which is 26 font size and Arial font. Similarly if I want this to be subtitle I will go here and click subtitle so this is my subtitle as you can see that uh, the color is also uh, changed slightly to show that this is a subtitle now similarly this is my heading so I can go here and I can say heading one so this is my heading one which is the top level heading so this is another top level heading so I can say that this is heading one now let's apply some other styles so let us say that this is uh, assume that this is uh, not heading one but it's heading two i want to see just how it looks so this is heading two and then we can say that let's say this so this is heading three style now you have the ability to change any of these for example let's say i am not happy with this subtitle and i want to change it so i can do that so what i can do is i can select this and i can change the size let's say i need a size of uh, 14 instead of 15. so now i have changed this subtitle but uh, 
this change is only applicable to this element and for example let's say i apply subtitle to this uh, element and i say this is subtitle and you will see that this subtitle is 50 so there is only one subtitle in a document but so i just wanted to show you side by side so therefore i change this to subtitle this is 15 although i have the ability to change it to 14 and i have changed it but it's not changed in the next instance of the subtitle. What if I want to change this to uh, everywhere, every subtitle, I want to change it to 40. So what I will do is uh, here I will say subtitle and in this subtitle, I have to click on this arrow and instead of applying subtitle, I will say update subtitle to match. And before I click that to match what? To match whatever is written here. So this is the font, uh, font and this is the font size. So I am asking that you, every subtitle, you match it to whatever is written in front of you so now if i click this so now this is also 14 and this is also 14 now as you can see both are 14 size so this is how you can change the default of these uh, uh, styles now this change will only be within this document and if you open a new document then whatever changes you have made the, in this document will be lost. Although in this document if you change the subtitle of any other uh, element the changes will still be intact because you have applied this match. But if you open a new document you will still go back to the default. So if you want to have this subtitle of size 14 in all of your future uh, Google documents so then what you need to do is you have to click on this and go to options and in this options you have to click on save as my default styles if i click on this and it will show me a message your default styles have been saved now everything of this document every style of this document which i have changed are not changed that will be my default a style for all of my future documents and if I don't want this I want the original defaults so then I can go back again into the options and then I can reset my styles if I click reset my styles now every style has been reset so now in my future document all my styles will be as the original style of original default styles of Google Docs still this is 14 although the original default is 15 but this is in this document all the future document because the defaults affects all the future documents you can make changes to any document on which you are working so this is how you can change the style of all your document you can check the outline you can go to the outline and in the next video we will see how we can make table of contents